Today's nuclear plants all run on fission. That's a process whereby an atom is split and a tremendous amount of energy is released. There is a far more effective approach to releasing energy and that's known as fusion. Atoms are smashed together and create a huge amount of energy. It's also the process that powers the stars, including our own sun. The first successful use of man-made fusion was a hydrogen bomb. The first one was detonated in the 1950s. Since then, scientists have been struggling to adapt this tremendous power for peaceful purposes. But that has been a real challenge. Mother Nature isn't giving up her fusion secrets all that easily. What scientists have done at the Lawrence Livermore Lab in California is taken the world's most powerful laser and aimed it at a target containing a nuclear fuel that's the size of a small pea. What this did was create a fusion reaction that liberated a tremendous amount of energy, albeit just for a fraction of a second. In effect, what they did was create a miniature star in their lab. What this experiment achieved, crucially, was that the amount of energy they got from the target, the fuel, was a lot more than the energy they actually put in. However, that's a long way from what scientists call ignition. Ignition is achieved when the overall system gives out more energy than is put in in the first place. And that goal is a long way off. Scientists now need to tweak the experiment to make it more efficient. They've got to try and control the shape of the implosion so that the more symmetrical it is, the more power it releases.